Hello and welcome to a brand new episode of Autocar India Quick News. Coming up over the next few minutes is your weekly snapshot to all the latest from the world of automobiles. But before we begin, do hit subscribe to the Autocar India channel and press the bell icon to stay notified on all our latest uploads. Hope you all had a great festive weekend. Well, in the spirit of the season, let's get cracking. First up is an update on the upcoming second generation Maruti Suzuki Celerio hatchback. Maruti Suzuki has opened bookings of the second generation Celerio hatchback at 11,000 rupees. The official launch is slated for November 10th. The new Celerio is based on Suzuki's Hartec platform and will be longer, wider and taller than the outgoing model. The car will also have a fresh new design where it does away with the square lines and is more rounded. It will also have larger glass areas and a tapering roof line. On the inside, it is likely to get a 7-inch Smart Play Studio touchscreen infotainment system, revised instrument cluster as well as push-button start. The new Celerio will also get an all-new 1-litre 3-cylinder K-series petrol engine featuring Suzuki's dual-jet technology with two fuel injectors per cylinder. Buyers will have the option of a 5-speed manual or AMT drivetrain choices. In good news for consumers, the company is claiming the second-generation Celerio to be the most fuel-efficient petrol car in the country. Moving on, BYD has introduced its first product in India, the all-electric E6 MPV. BYD India, a subsidiary of Chinese car maker BYD or Build Your Dreams, has launched the E6 all-electric MPV priced at 29.15 lakh rupees ex showroom. The E6 will only be available as a commercial vehicle for the time being in 8 cities across India. The E6 is a 5-seater MPV built on BYD's E platform and sits between the Maruti Suzuki Ertiga and the Kia Carnival in terms of dimensions. It only comes in a fully loaded trim and gets LED DRLs, LED rear tail lights, a 10.1-inch touchscreen infotainment system, electronically adjustable front seats and a CN95 air filtration system. The MPV comes powered by an electric motor that produces 95 horsepower and 180 Nm of peak torque and drives the front wheels. It gets a 71.7 kWh lithium iron phosphate battery pack with a combined WLTC range of 415 km. Do note that WLTC is not to be confused with the more rigorous WLTP test standards. The E6 supports DC fast charging that can charge it from 30 to 80 percent in 35 minutes. BYD India will also bundle a 7 kW AC charger with the MPV for an additional sum of 45,000 rupees. Škoda has revealed the design renders of the upcoming Slavia midsize sedan, which will be unveiled on November 18th. The Slavia is based on VW Group's MQB A0 IN platform and sure looks stylish and sharp in these sketches. It will get a low front end with a wide hexagonal grille flanked by sleek LED L shaped DRLs. This new sedan that will replace the rapid bears a coupe-like silhouette with a gently sloping roofline that merges smoothly into the boot lid. There will be a modern set of alloy wheels with a twin 5-spoke pattern and the rear will be marked by Skoda's signature C-shaped taillights that extend into the boot. There will be a chrome strip running across the length of the rear bumper as well. While interior of the Slavia is yet to be revealed, what we do know is that it will get two petrol-only TSI engine options. Doing duty will be a 115-horsepower 1-litre 3-cylinder unit and a 150-horsepower 1.5-litre 4-cylinder mill. Buyers can choose from a 6-speed manual, torque converter automatic and a 7-speed DSG transmission options. Higher up the sedan ladder, Audi has unveiled the updated version of its flagship, the A8. The A8 gets a subtle facelift for 2022 with a redesigned front end that now gets a wider grille with a bolder mesh pattern compared to the slatted design earlier. The air intakes at the edges of the bumper have also been slightly angled to make them appear more upright. Optional chrome and black exterior packages, however, have been carried over from the pre-facelift model. While Audi's digital matrix LED headlights continue to remain on offer, the updated A8 now gets digital OLED brake lights as standard. Additions on the inside are two 10.1-inch infotainment screens at the rear, which are controlled by a touchscreen remote in the center armrest. Optional extras at the rear include a perfume function, bar compartment and a fold-out center console table. The refreshed A8 will get 40 driver assistance system features such as remote park assist and adaptive cruise control. The luxury sedan will come powered by the same 6-cylinder 3-litre TDI diesel and TFSI petrol engine options. The engines produce 286 horsepower and 340 horsepower respectively, while the TFSI plug-in hybrid version develops 461 horsepower. Both engines get an 8-speed Tektronik automatic gearbox and quattro all-wheel drive as standard. There is also the option of a 571 horsepower 4 liter TFSI V8 petrol engine in the S8 performance variant that can do a 0 to 100 sprint in just 3.8 seconds. The A8 facelift is likely to make its way in the Indian market sometime next year. From 4 wheels to 2, Ducati is all set to launch the 2022 Hyper Motard in India. Ducati India has teased the launch of the final motorcycle in its 950 range, the Hyper Motard 950. 
Earlier this year, the motorcycle had received a Euro 5 update for its 937cc Tesla Strata engine that produces 114 horsepower and 96 Nm of peak torque. It had also received a revised gearbox. The motorcycle is likely to be launched in its base variant in India and will skip the higher spec SP trim available overseas. It will get IMU bag electronics with wheelie control, traction control and cornering ABS. The Hypermotard 950 will also get three riding modes, sport, touring and urban. Ducati has launched a special edition of its Scrambler Desert Sled Adventure Motorcycle in India. Christened after the American apparel brand Fast House, which it is designed in collaboration with, the motorcycle is priced at 10.99 lakh rupees ex showroom. The Fast House looks cool in a unique paint scheme featuring an overall dark theme contrasted by bright red shade on the frame and yellow paint on the monoshock. It also gets a striped fuel tank and a mesh grille protecting the headlight. Other changes include a grippier seat, raised front mudguard and an extended rear fender. The Fast House is limited to 800 units globally and all units allocated for India have already been sold out. The bike is mechanically identical to the standard desert sled and comes powered by an 803cc air-cooled L twin engine that produces 73 horsepower and 66.2 Nm of peak torque. And if you're looking to buy an Ola scooter, you'll have to twiddle your thumbs a little bit more. Ola Electric has announced that it will delay the second purchase window of the S1 and S1 Pro electric scooters from November 1st to December 16th. The announcement comes just after Ola Electric failed to meet its commitment to commence deliveries in October. The S1 and S1 Pro were launched in August and Ola Electric says that it aims to focus on fulfilling existing orders before accepting new ones. The scooters are priced at 1 lakh and 1.3 lakh rupees ex showroom respectively. And that's all the news we have this week. Thank you very much for watching. See you again next week with more news and more scoops from the exciting world of automobiles. Till then, keep enjoying Autocar India.